Welcome to part 2 of the 7 signs someone in your life is a demon. I hope you took note of the first 4 signs in part 1. We would continue part 2 with the 3 remaining signs and finally end this revelation on how to eliminate these demon possessed people from your life. This is so you can fulfill your God given destiny. My name is Sally and welcome to Divine Revelations Chanel. If you new to this channel please consider subscribing, like and share these deep secrets with your loved ones. Click on the notification bell so you will be the first to know when we post a new video for your spiritual growth and freedom. Number 5 sign is that demonic possessed people will tell lies about you and try to turn everything and everyone against you. They do this to cut you off from any helper or any assistance that can lift you higher. The story of Arlene and Diana is not over. Come let's see what happens next. Haggish my faithful demon, I summon you to come before my presence and give report on the victims of your assignment. My lord and master, prince of all demons, here I am, I have carried out my task with precise instructions. Diana now attacks Arlene at any given opportunity. Arlene makes mistakes at work and always under pressure as Diana never lets her have any breathing space. I have also put the spirit of lies, jealousy and confusion in the life of Diana so that she only makes progress in her life whenever she makes Arlene miserable. So she thinks Arlene is the cause of her own misfortune and she is fighting back. I know the target is Arlene's first child, Mirabelle. Mirabelle is meant to become a scientist who would find the cure to a terminal disease that would save millions of people from death. The great world deluge we have been planning for the past 1000 years after the last one in Europe. No, 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 that must never happen. The great epidemic that would wipe out half of the world's population has to go on uninterrupted as planned. Mirabelle must not stop it. Since we cannot kill the little girl Mirabelle, we shall frustrate her mother Arlene, make her lose her job, enter depression and commit suicide. Then we shall lure her father into another woman's arms so he has no time for his children. Mystic the demon of seduction will handle him. That would leave Mirabelle exposed to all kinds of vices that will distract her and ruin her destiny. But my lord there is a big problem. Arlene is still a strong prayer warrior. I have still not been able to pull her into temptation to destroy her soul with sin. She has slowed down our progress. She is currently awake in prayers fervently casting down all the spirits hovering around herself and her family. What do we do? There is no more time. That is why we have poisoned Diana's heart to use her as our weapon in the physical realm. When we weaken our targets in the physical realm it disturbs their strength in the spiritual realm. It has worked for millions of our victims all over the human world. Keeps whispering evil ideas into Diana's ears and heart so she works for you over there. We would take it up from here in the spirit realm. Yes my lord and master. Fantastic. At the Ministry of Labor, the department where Diana and Arlene work receive a new director. Diana is one of the first staff to go to his office after his confirmation. Good morning Mr. Wayne. Welcome to the Department of Monitoring and Evaluation. My name is Diana. Good morning Miss Diana. How are you? Good to meet you. I heard you are one of the oldest staff here. Yes sir. I am. With a lot of experience too. I know the in and out of this ministry. I can help you make your tenure a prosperous one. People in this ministry are jealous of you. But you know what I just found out that we are from the same state. This means you are my brother. I would do anything to protect my own people sir. She is a seductress. Anyone she sleeps with becomes useless. She is even diabolical. Keep an eye on her and don't give her any favors. She will turn it against you, sir. Oh, really? I didn't know this. We are very few in his ministry. I feel so happy meeting someone from my state. What tribe are you from? Diana had already checked the director's resume so she lied about her tribe and state so he thinks they're from the same place. She did this to gain his trust. I am from the Banta tribe, sir. Me too. Oh wow. That's great. As Diana speaks, the demon Haggish whispers into her ears, telling her the kind of lies he wants her to say. 
Sir, you have so many enemies here. One of such is this lady called Arlene. She sleeps with almost all the top staff here just to get to the top. Do you know when she came? She was totally dependent on me for guidance. She knows nothing about her job. I taught her everything. In fact there is a rumor that the last director is the father of her second child. I hope it's not true because I really pity her poor husband. They had a hot romance going on in this office. What? Are you serious? That's terrible. Thank you for this information. I would tell you more about the other staff soon. I just want to help you so you get a good rating at the end of your tenure. This will open doors for you even to become a minister of this state. I will do all I can to support my own brother from the same state. My dear sister and friend. Thank you so much. I have a gift for you sir. I gave it to your personal assistant. Let me let you do your work sir. Have a nice day. Thank you so much Diana. I appreciate your help and kind gesture. Diana spread the same lies to other key staff at the office, using the cleaners and drivers to pass the rumors. Soon Arlene became hated and disliked. Good. The office is empty. I command all the evil forces of the land, air and sea to fight against you and your family Arlene as I place this charm on your seat. May sickness and emergencies never depart from your home. May my Siri always follow you everywhere. <laughs> Three days later. Oh my god, I feel so weak, my head hurts. Mrs. Arlene, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, sir. I think I need to go to the hospital immediately. All right, Arlene. Please inform your supervisor before you leave. Arlene was hospitalized for two weeks. Her children also fell sick. At some point, she exceeded her medical leave and Diana was instructed to take her position temporarily. Diana used the opportunity to disorganize her desk and belittle all her efforts before the management. Mrs. Arlene, I cannot find anything wrong with you. All your tests came out clean. Even those of your children. May I suggest something please? Oh really? Of course doctor. Do you believe in God? Yes doctor, I do. Then seek the face of God. I am a believer and a strong Christian. I have seen cases like yours. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. It is written, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. I do not know what you may be going through, but there's nothing bigger than the power of God Almighty. Thank you doctor, my prayer life has suffered greatly due to the stress and pressure I am going through at work and also at home with my kids sick almost all the time. Sometimes I just feel like ending my life, just so I can find some peace. It is well. All shall be well. Let us pray. Loving and compassionate God, you are our comfort and strength in times of sudden disaster, crisis or chaos. Surround your child Arlene now, O Lord with your grace and peace through storms or winds, fires or floods. By your spirit, lift her up and all those who have fallen, sustain those who work to rescue, build, and fill us with the hope of your new creation. Through Christ, our rock and redeemer. Amen. Amen. Thank you doctor. Due to the distress, hunger and suffering at her aunt's house, Melody ran away from home a day earlier. She slept that night in a dark and dangerous alley. She was destined to meet Arlene. The angel of God ensures their path cross the next day. Meanwhile, Arlene is to be discharged from the hospital in the morning of the next day. Now Melody is miserable and out on the streets. It's now time for me to push her into more trouble. Let me direct a rapist to her. <laughs> no more. Melody has an army of angels interceding for her. 
Be gone, evil one. No, leave us alone. We have access to her. She has stopped praying so we have uninterrupted access. Pray Melody. Pray now. Start praying Melody so we can help you. I am so afraid. It's so lonely here. Oh why did I run away? Okay. I will pray. God never abandoned his children. Oh God, I cannot do this alone. In me there is darkness, but with you there is light. I am lonely, but you do not leave me. I am feeble in heart, but with you there is help. I am restless, but with you there is peace. In me there is bitterness, but with you there is patience. I do not understand your ways, but you know the way for me. Restore me to liberty, and enable me so to live now that I may answer before you. Lord, whatever this day may bring, your name be praised. Protect me. Send me help. Melody sleeps in the alley safe and sound. Nothing harms her. In the morning, an angel wakes her up to go to the roadside and wait there for her helper. God had answered her prayers and sent her a helper. Help me Ma. Please help me. I ran away from home. Help me please. Arlene is skeptical, but the angel of God ministers to her heart. Stop and help the girl Arlene. It's safe. Don't be afraid. I sent her to you. She needs your help. Okay, young lady, come in, please. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. I'm grateful. My name is Arlene. Let's go to my house for lunch. Calm down. Everything will be fine. And I am Melody. God bless you exceedingly, Ma. I'm so grateful. Melody share her bitter experience with Arlene and she decides to help the young girl by letting her stay with her family for some time. The sixth sign that someone in your life is a demon is that God always sends somebody to warn you of their intentions and attacks. This warning can be in the spiritual realm through a dream or revelation or physically through someone you know or a complete stranger. If you are fervently praying this person can protect you in the physical realm. This person could be a parent, someone at work with more authority than your antagonist or a stranger you just met. Now that the parts of both Christians have crossed, let's see what they do with their new situation. I hope you like it here Melody. I have two children, Mirabelle and Jessica. My husband is away on a business trip. We have a spare room so you can stay here as long as you want. Thank you Madam Arlene. I promise to make you proud of me. Don't worry, there will be a lot of time for you to grow and improve yourself. I and my husband have decided to send you back to school and train you till the university. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you, Ma. Come let's pray. As a child of God, we fight, we do not give up. God sent me as your helper and I know he will also send mine. He will fight for me. At midnight, Arlene wakes up to engage in spiritual warfare on her knees in prayer. Spirit of our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Most Holy Trinity, descend upon me. Please purify me, mold me, fill me with yourself, and use me. Banish all the forces of evil from me, destroy them, vanquish them so that I can be healthy and do good deeds. Banish from me all curses, hexes, spells, witchcraft, black magic, demonic assignments, malefice and the evil eye, diabolic infestations, oppressions, possessions, all that is evil and sinful, jealousy, treachery, envy, all physical, psychological, moral, spiritual and diabolical ailments, as well as all enticing spirits, deaf, dumb, blind, mute and sleeping spirits, new age spirits, occult spirits, religious spirits, antichrist spirits, and any other spirits of death and darkness. I command and bid all the powers who molest me, by the power of God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ my Savior, to leave me forever, and to be consigned into the everlasting lake of fire, that they may never again touch me or any other creature in the entire world. Amen. No, fire everywhere. Arlene has taken her place in prayer. This is a disaster. No, no, stop it. No more prayers. Everything is ruined. Where are my league of demons? What happens to Arlene at work after she wakes up from her spiritual slumber? 
Watch out for the last part of seven signs someone in your life is a demon as we release the last sign. Melody's aunt and husband are not left out. Melody was not just needed to run the house chores. No, what do they do after Melody runs away from home? Their success heavily depended on Melody's stay at their house. Watch out for the part three of seven signs someone in your life is a demon, as we release the last and seventh sign followed by how to get these demons out of your life. My name's Sally once more and if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you are the first to know when we post a new divine revelation.